I wish I had better, better news for you in the Christmas shopping season. But tonight we can tell you that after recalls of millions and millions of toys this year, there are still lots and lots of toys in stores containing dangerous levels of lead. In fact, recent tests of more than 1,200 children's products found 35% of them contain lead. Bill Tucker has our report. It doesn't get much hotter than Hannah Montana, and there aren't many girls' handbags with more lead than this Hannah Montana handbag. Nearly four times the allowable standard. The handbag has not been recalled, nor have hundreds of other toys containing lead. We tested over 1,200 toys since the late summer. We found that approximately 35% of the toys contained detectable levels of lead. Over 15% of those toys contained levels of lead that were over 600 parts per million, which is the CPSC standard for lead and paint. HealthyToys.org has a complete list of the toys it tested with its findings. The website for consumers is the result of the Center for Health and Justice, the Ecology Center, and other consumer groups not satisfied with either the Consumer Product Safety Commission standards or efforts. We had 215 products that tested over the CPSC recall standard of 600 parts per million. Only 23 of those have been recalled by the Consumer Product Safety Commission. So we hear about the recalls, but we don't hear about the products that they're missing. Nor do consumers hear about the high levels of other toxic chemicals found in toys, like cadmium, mercury, and all. It's an old complaint for consumer groups that regulators are working with outdated regulations. CPSC standards are extremely out of date. Having had very little staff, one of the things they've neglected is adding standards and updating standards. The lead standard in particular is from 30 years ago. Current legislation, if passed, would dramatically increase funding to the Consumer Product Safety Commission and double the size of its staff. But there's no attempt to currently underway to update the 30-year-old standards governing chemicals that are allowable in products. We did try and call the CPSC today. They did not get back to us, despite the fact that they did promise that they would, Lou. And I would like to give the viewers one little bit of warning about HealthyToys.org as a website. It's very popular today, as you can imagine. I it's gone hope. down a couple of times. So when you go there, be patient. It is moving very slowly. And I hope we've uh, already put up the link from our site to that site. Uh, let's try to help and put that information on our site as well as a public service, if you can take care of that. It's uh, been and taken I'm, care of. As, I, as we're sitting here talking, I'm sure our producer is moving to make that happen. You know, Bill, I, I, I don't know. Uh, I've got grandchildren. Uh, I, I've got... Uh, Small I mean, everybody in this country has got to be frustrated that there is no protection here. It, it, no. it is beginning to look like the only possible choice is to say, no, I'm not going to be buying these toys, and nearly all of them from China, because of the safety issues. And these toy companies have been lying through their teeth. We continue to find problem after problem. Seemingly, each succeeding week brings greater exposure to, to a crisis. And, and, and consumers have nowhere to turn except to these consumer groups and to these environmental organizations. And the CPSC, well, as we've seen and we've reported here time after time after time again, is not guarding the gate, Lou. And I, I want to say, every one of you watching this who thinks, uh, you know, you're, uh, uh, if you believe that this is about ideology and free trade and the market will out, and you don't know what the role of government is, you, please... Put your ideology aside through the Christmas season and protect your young, your young ones, whether they're grandchildren grand, uh, or, or your children. Uh, th this is very, very serious. Uh, I can't believe that this administration hasn't stepped in. Uh, these toy brands, I, I mean, there, there has to be an investigation of this. This is crazy. If we did not have Consumers Union, all of these consumer activist groups right. working in behalf of the American consumer, I mean, we've got to say thank you to them and highlight their efforts and uh, you know it, it's a and we're we're just deeply grateful what they're doing absolutely uh, and we're more than just a little just a little frustrated with what our federal government and the consumer product safety commission and others are not doing thank you very much bill tucker
In tonight's poll, our question is straightforward. Do you believe our government can keep you and your family safe from dangerous toy imports this holiday season? Yes or no? We'll have the results here later in the book.